Hey, hey I know hey. you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, I had a, a quick question about the, the production side of oh. things. Um, like when you guys were recording, I was just wondering what that experience was like. Did you record in isolation, in ensemble? Did you guys record to the animation or after the animation? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Thank you for your question. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. We've been <laughs> okay, good night. Um, um, yeah, that was uh, the same with me. It was my yeah. first animated series. I'd work on plenty of other animated things and video game things, but they never recorded together. Even when I would see other actors, I'm like, oh, I know who you are. Mm -hmm. They would come in after me, and I'd be like, oh, man, we don't get to record together. Um, but this one, they actually had all of us together. It was it was different groups depending on what they worked on. Yeah. It wasn't the final animation. It was like pre-finished animation. Uh, yeah, it was synced, which that actually made it a little difficult sometimes because there were certain lines that we really had to shove and do extra takes on to get them squeezed into the amount of time, which made them sound a little more rushed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so it wasn't like we recorded it and then they animated to us. They already had it pretty much the way it was going to be. And then, you know, our director also had people telling him that we, we do it this way. So he, it was a boss of a boss, you know, is, you know, so there was multiple things going on. Sometimes there were issues in the translation of the script from the, like, this word doesn't exist in, in English. So they had yeah. to like, because they, they did want, they did say up front, they wanted this to have a very anime feel to it as well. So there was a lot of uh, lost in translation things. And, but it was a really cool experience because A, first animated series, B, getting to work in a group session together. Oh. I'd only ever done that on Krampus. And that was a, more of a loop group where it was me and uh, Eric Lopez, the Blue Beetle from uh, Young, Young Justice or Injustice. I forget what it was. No, it was Young Justice. And um, Adam MacArthur from Star vs. Forces of Evil. And um, Alex Polinsky, uh, Headmaster from uh, Transformers Animated. And it was a big a group of us doing all these evil elf, but it was it was a huge screen, Universal Studios, and that was my first real experience with actually recording two things synced on the screen with other actors in the room. So uh, with that little bit of, with that little tiny bit of experience I drew, drew from for this, but it was, the, the, the time sync was the only real hard part of it. But they were very with us, and Eric is a huge fan, Transformers fan too. It's always great to have a director who knows the source material. You can ask my buddy Daniel, who worked on uh, the Transformers video game. The director was, um, uh, Rocky's nemesis. <laughs> he had no idea what Transformers were, what he was doing, <laughs> but he was directing the game, so <laughs> he wanted Starscream to have a British accent, by the way. Um, wow. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the production side of things, that, that, that always fascinated me, too. But the fact that, you know, we felt like we're in the zoo with a big piece of glass and people are telling us what to do through the window. <laughs> and then we, they're probably ordering lunch, but they're in the... It was more like a giant. And we're like, oh, man, we must be terrible. <laughs> like, oh, no, no, we're just ordering pizza. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is we the saw a couple of fist moment. fights. It was amazing. <laughs> like when, when you just said something that should get laughs, right? Like if I say a joke, everybody laughs. But there's just silence. <laughs> and you're sitting there like. Occasionally you think they're mocking what? us because sometimes they do laugh, but you just see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just, there's nothing. And then. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was that's the reason why, why I'd rather record in a group session, though, yeah. is because of the chemistry between the actors. Yeah, we make each other. There was laugh. so much stuff that I wish you guys could have could hear and see because it was so good. Well, my my first, uh, I, we recorded this in two or three sessions uh, for Starscream at least, and my first time was by myself. So there, I think I think the first episode where uh, Rodimus, uh, Mistress of Flame, uh, also Lana's pretty awesome. Uh, shout out to her. Uh, that we weren't actually in the same room. Uh, I'd actually never met Ben until San Diego when we were mm -hmm, on that. Panel. Yeah, same. Yeah, uh, wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, so yeah, so there was one session where I did a couple episodes where I would record by myself, and then the following week, I think it was, or maybe the following Monday, uh, it started with uh, Jason and Lon and myself, and then John came in, and the four of us just didn't stop laughing. It was, it was wonderful. It was, uh, it was a great experience. Prior to that, uh, yeah, a couple of video games that I did. Invisimals was one of the videos, a uh, PlayStation game. Uh, I did a bunch of monsters and that. And we had like three people in the room. But again, it's New York City, so we're very tight. We don't have a lot of room over there. We, that's why we built <laughs> up. And, uh, and so it's just whoever could fit in. But uh, this was the first time that like, we actually had that classic everybody in the same room reacting off of each other, playing off of each other. Uh, and it showed. It was really. It was, it was a lot of fun. Plus, plus, it was Bang Zoom, and just oh my God, the whole yeah. place is decorated in, in artwork from all of our favorite cartoons, yeah. signed by Mark Hamill's names on the mm -hmm. wall. And we're like, oh, there's zero chance this is my that you guys Disney World. seen something recorded there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it was pretty big, and uh, yeah, like I said, seven year old version of me doing backflips, right? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm. I'm again with like the Superpower Beatdown and Bat in the Sun stuff, like and. Uh, 
Um, and I, I also have done uh, an anime as well. Like, so I'm used to doing like ADR and dubbing things, but uh, it was interesting doing the, the Transformers one because I didn't anticipate that that was going to happen, yeah. that the animation was already going to be almost complete, uh, so we, we had to do to time at points. Uh, but not all of it. So when, when we really got to uh, uh, do, when we weren't matching, like when we were all yeah. together, and we got to really kind of pull our yeah. lines a little more. Um, that was that was really fun. And and oh man, we just made our made each other laugh. Plus, my my character yeah. doesn't have a mouth. Yeah. So exactly. I didn't have to worry about lip syncing. Exactly. Yeah. You didn't have to. You didn't have to worry about. Yeah. You, you did lip bounces when yeah. it kind of moves up and down. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was it was an excellent time. And I I I because it is rare that you really get to record with a bunch of people. Usually, you're just by yourself. Oh, it's yeah. all so, technology these days. Oh, oh yeah. But and it was it was fantastic. We're all connected to the internet through magic. And Lana, just uh, Lana McKissick, just uh, again the Mistress of Flame. There were moments in there where we're standing and she said something and it felt like our mothers were like yelling at us. She's got this this, this authority when she does her. Her, her, her mistress voice. Well, it went by uh, the same God, way. Like, she literally had tears in her eyes at some point. Oh, yeah. And, mm. I, and I, it used to, it, it actually bothered me a little bit when I'd see some of the negative comments talking about that the performance was this or that. I'm like, you guys weren't there. You didn't see, like, this, is, this was real performance. This was real acting. These aren't just people just reading scripts. I, I, have, I was lucky enough to be in, uh, on the other side of the glass sitting down when Abby was recording. Uh, Abby Trot is Windblade. Mm. Uh, when she was recording her prelude video, and I tell you, the people, like, the, the other, the techs, the board op, everybody, we were, like, almost in tears at one point. Like, there are different versions of that, which would have brought out the waterworks in everybody's yep. room. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal. She was great. You yeah. know. And I, I did get to work with Ben. Uh, my, la my last session was with, actually with Ben. Awesome. And Ben was so funny because he actually did record part of that with his arm behind his back. That's how, <laughs> it, that's how in character he was. Spoilers, by the way, uh, in case you didn't watch it yet. <laughs> so... Yeah, Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank you.